Hello, sir. Now, I'm, uh, I've invited you along to this little poll here because uh, you visited Unit HQ and we're, we're all about improving ourselves. We hate to be uh, stuck in the past. As it were. <laughs> so um, I thought we'd just go a little, a little interview here just to sp speak about your, your unique time at Unit HQ. Thank you. So do you mind just uh, stating your name for the record, please? Samuel Davis. Davis, not Davies. Not to be confused with Russell T, who is a, I don't know, just, you know, I mean, you wouldn't know who Russell T is. No, of the name no, escapes no, no. me. But that's, I, I'm but, sure he's lovely. Time Fracture is, is on Davis Street. Is it? So, oh, hey, yes. It is. <laughs> well, every single second of that place is a reference. <laughs> it really is. My goodness. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, so um, first of all, very <laughs> keep, important. Keeping character. Keeping character, Got yes. to keep in character, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. So, um, <laughs> first of all, very important uh, here at Unit HQ. Did, did the staff treat you well? I know you're, you were very new here, of course. You were uh, called in quite short notice. So, yeah, how did the unit staff treat you? Oh, yeah. Uh, staff review. It's all thumbs up here. Very stressed collection of people, I found. Yes. Uh, I understand the circumstances. They were running back and forth. They, but, they uh, do, we but, do we do that, yes. <laughs> my first interaction there, the second where you're where I was allowed off the leash and allowed to talk to some of your fine scientists, uh, it was it was this actress and well, actress actress had, had the had the how do we do this <laughs> had, the, had the veneer had the dramatic veneer of an actress, but the second oh. like, I spoke to her, she turned around like um. Like I'd actually disturbed her from her actual work. And it was just, that was it. That was the second I was like, right, okay, I've got to take this seriously. Oh, fantastic. I'm engaging. glad you, you decided to take things seriously. Some people just think it's a joke. Uh, it, it's yeah. quite rude, to be perfectly honest. Uh, that, <laughs> that, um, that unit scientist, was she a part of the Black Archive by chance? I'm not so sure. I stumbled no. across the Black Archive completely by accident trying to find the toilet. Oh, I uh, see. yes, well, the toilet is just through there, isn't it? Yeah. It's a peculiar <laughs> place. Now, in, in, in hindsight, whoever built uh, Unit HQ, we really shouldn't have put the lavatories next to these top secret, the secretest part of Unit HQ. But, Absolutely. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't quite know what happened there with the floor plan. Or, if I may, the bar outside. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a staff canteen. No, 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 they were serving alcohol for sure. So that's listen, maybe something um, to... Us scientists like to get a bit of a buzz to, to keep <laughs> keep morale high. You know, it, it happens. But yes, thank you. That's excellent. How about the strange beings through the actual fracture? We, we understand that there was a, a strange array of, of things. I do hope they, they caused you no harm through there. Well, I'd love to talk about what's inside the time fracture. But as you can see here, I've got a legal document from your phone. Oh, you people. received that. Oh, that's excellent. I've got that. And it says I can't, I, my family will be informed that I was fed to the Loch Ness if I share anything from inside. I'm going to take the risk, I think, for the sake of the format. Okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll let Dr. Courtney know and the Loch Ness story <laughs> will be printed. But no, do, do please, this will be top secret, of course, so it's fine, cool. it's fine. Um, Right away, I came across uh, the pig man who was in. I mean, I, I knew there was going to be a pig man. I don't know whether you could call it um, a premonition or marketing. Interesting. But uh, yeah. I, I did. I was aware of a pig man, and I was very eager to meet him. Oh yes, yes. We, we we've heard stories of this pig man. He does <laughs> seem to be um. What, what's the word that other scientists use? Oh, that's right. Mad bants. I didn't, scary. Uh, was he scary? scary? I found him a very threatening presence, yeah. Oh. I, I didn't trust him one bit. No, no. I, I, I think sure I also... <laughs> I think I led to events that got him killed as well, but... Uh, oh! Oh, is he dead? Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll jot that down. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Ambiguous. <laughs> Ambiguous ending. That's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> I well, can confirm that, that Brian the Ood, who, who's another player, uh, he is very, he's a, he's a goner. I'm sorry to announce. No. Yeah, he's no longer with us, Brian. Oh, God but, bless but was soul. he good? Well, I, I've heard stories of this Brian the Ood. In, I've, I've even had an encounter myself. He's quite interesting character. But do you think, um, mm. how, what was he like? How would you describe Brian to someone who 
perhaps hasn't met him. He was incredibly polite. Good. Um, <laughs> he took us to meet William Shakespeare, who said that he looked Danish. So they got along quite well, which oh. surprised me. Yeah, well, Shakespeare was there as well. Oh, Should probably have set that up. Um, that was quite the it? name drop. You just, oh, it's Shakespeare. <laughs> there, you know. Well, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Um, most of all, I just I wish I'd gotten more time with him. Uh, I've tried to follow him around as much as possible, but his uh, whatever he was doing on the side was very tangential and like not related to the core story at times. Oh, I see. It, he, it was very much trying to find a Kablam package. Kabla- um, oh, Kablam, <laughs> yes, I believe he was Kablam in the trailer, so I'm, I think we're safe for that one. Trailer, uh, tra- hmm. Oh, it's a, it's a, well, it's a it, briefing trailer, of course. It is, of a course, briefing. when we have to show gotcha. things. You get it. You get it. It's a screening <laughs> exercise. Oh, uh, this, uh. This, I'm so glad this is the first one of these I'm doing. <laughs> I've got a few more to go. So hopefully by the end, I figured out my own character. Anyway. <laughs> so um, would you say on the whole, your time fracture operation, time fracture, I pointed the wrong way. Operation Time Fracture was a success. Did you did you enjoy yourself? I had a great time at Time Fracture. Um, I it's because of the nature of the place. I would have liked to game it more. If I with no knowledge going in, of course, you wouldn't want to spoil everything for yourself. But the moment you come out, you're thinking, how can I cheat sheet my way around this place? I so, see. It needs one more go, and then I think I'll be able to give a proper review. Oh, debriefing. Debrief, course, yes. Debriefing. Please don't debrief this yeah. to the bloody public, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you read the document. We know what Le- we do. <laughs> Unit takes no legal responsibility for the disintegration, extermination, conversation, vaporization, petrification, possession, combustion, liquidation, or any other extraterrestrial, supernatural, hypernatural, transdimensional form of dispatch. Oh, Dr. Courtney does like to sort of sum it all up there. He's, he's a man of words, uh, our Dr. Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great getting picked to go to the front, though. Um, the front, the, you say? Was, the front, I was one of the first ones to open the time fracture. I forgot exactly what it was that I added to, to things. Well, no, that's, much, that means you're very likely. brave, of course. No, that, that's excellent. Oh, I will jot that down sure. in case we need someone else to do something that will almost certainly kill them. I'll, I'll put your name at the top of the list. Excellent. The expendable and having a good time. That's what that's what you're looking for. That's that's exactly what we're looking for with these. Well, uh, now I've got a surprise for you. It's it's actually Jack. It's not a unit scientist. You've been bamboozled. I know. Uh, I know. And I'm not even in unit HQ. It's a it's a ruse. It's actually a big, big fat ruse. Look. You've been, oh my god. My goodness. This is I feel like I've lied to. Is that crazy? <laughs> Well, before we wrap this up, I, um, it's safe to say that with this Time Fracture special and with me interviewing some of the cast, some of those cast and perhaps the creators of Time Fracture could very well be watching. Not, no pressure. So is there anything you'd like to say to them? Oh, I definitely followed the, some of the greater... I definitely followed a lot of my favourite actors from the experience once I found out the cast list. Um, just... The Tunnel Guides are just phenomenal. They are the highlights. Um, being able to look in someone's eyes and there's total conviction behind it ma- makes a guess member feel like they've got to step up as well. And that's such a fun way to be challenged by media or just an experience in general. Also, just with you and me, I've been bugging Jack a lot for him to tell me where a certain character is in the experience. He is in the marketing. You can say who it is. Okay. Oh, I need to find Davros and I'm not playing around. Well, um, I will stop the recording here. Thank you for coming on, Davis. Very kind of you. Thank you. So, hello. Um, it's a, Thank you for joining me in this call. Um, I understand you were part of Operation Time Fracture. Very exciting. No, it's an absolute pleasure. It's uh, always good to... Uh... Talk to such an esteemed unit scientist. Oh, well, thank yourself. you very much. I'm quite low on the on the scale. Unfortunately, I missed it. But I've been tasked uh, by my superiors to get get some information from uh, you lot in the field. So, uh, first of all, could you state your name for the record, please? Ah, uh, my name is Rory Guest, but I go by Rasslin Productions. Oh, you have a code name. That's quite interesting. Mm. Okay, I'll jot that down. Mm-hmm. Now, um. 
first of all, now, uh, as you know, there was many uh, different unit staff present that day. Uh, we were all hands on deck, mm-hmm. except for me. I was stuck in stuck in a boardroom. It was quite boring. But um, so, did the staff treat you well? Uh, did, were you tra- handled very well? Oh, yes, they were wonderful. I mean, um, uh, when I was there, uh, I went on my own last time I was there. Uh, I'm going to go again soon. I'm going to be a part of the operation again. But uh, I went on my own the first time I went, and they made sure to accompany me whenever I was on my own, send me in directions in which they had uh, linked to interesting story points. Uh, they sent me on special missions. I believe uh, one of the uh, actors who had dressed up in very... Uh, doctor-like outfits uh made sure i was you know made sure i was all right made sure to just talk to me and give me an enjoyable experience which they did oh well that's fantastic we, we're always looking for feedback here at unit just in case other people come in and we're not doing our best but it's good to hear we've, we've had mostly positive except for the ones who have uh, been lost but we don't talk about that <laughs> and if you talk about that um you will be um well, that doesn't matter. It's, it's in the fine. Print. You understand. I'm sure they're all fine. Yeah. Yes. Now, when you went through the fracture, we were lost. We were stuck on this side. So we're not entirely sure what uh, was, was seen. We, we've heard many different tales. So without going into too much spoilers, in case this yes. uh, footage ends up online, which would be terrible, could you oh, explain yes. some of the things you, you, you perhaps saw? Hmm. Well, you know, you saw the usual, like, Daleks. Daleks are quite yes. popular back there. Uh, without going into too much spoilers, I mean, uh, uh, before I go on, can I mention Davros? He was in a social He was in the post. post. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, um, I went into uh, one of the highlights from it, which I won't spoil too much, but I went into this sort of uh, dark chamber, this dark room, and uh, this guy named uh, Dave was in there this uh very dave uh, i believe he goes by davros nowadays uh lovely fellow absolutely lovely uh lovely uh, davros was lovely (laughs) well well, we had a wonderful conversation you know um yes uh he you know i was a very confident very uh very forward and uh he chose me to speak on behalf of all the people on whether to trust him or not Oh and you're goodness. really rather wonderful. <laughs> that is, no, that is excellent to hear. I will update Davros's file. Possibly friend. <laughs> yes. Well, um, that was until, well, I can't say anything. But yes, I uh, did. No, yes, we'll, we'll save time. that for I so will save that for the people who decide to go on the mission. Yes, but we've got uh, many, yes, many coming in, yes. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a wonderful conversation. And I called him Dave and we had a good back and forth that's and very him. brave of you uh, sir <laughs> and uh, we had a back and forth and we had to discuss whether to trust him and then he he handed me a prop which i won't say too much about but uh i almost accidentally stole it oh well that's not <laughs> ideal uh, well, we need to keep that in the black archive sir now yeah. keep an uh, eye I on you like, next time i almost accidentally stole it because he gave me a mission um to basically <laughs> give it to someone i trust but in these experiences, you don't know who to trust. So I trusted nobody. Good. And then I had to, because uh, um, I had to give it to the people at the desk after the experience, and I had to explain that Davros gave it to me. <laughs> well, no, no wonder but, uh, they were confused. Don't worry, their minds have been wiped of that interaction, yes, so we won't be course. worrying about that getting out. <laughs> Such efficiency, you know. Quite. We're, um, we're very proud of our secrecy here at, at Unit HQ, <laughs> hence why we publish our our top secret address, you know, just on oh, of course, you know, so that, anyone that can find it. outside your headquarters. Yes, no, exactly. The the true way to hide is to be in plain mm. sight. That's what we've learned. Yes, uh, and that is my ideal method. Yeah, but that's very uh, good. But um, yes, yeah, so that was the main highlight for me experience. Well, there were a lot of highlights, Ooh, but that was that would always be an interaction that will always stand out to me. Fantastic. Um, another highlight would be uh, oh, definitely talking to the pig man. The pig man was great. I've um, heard about he a, this pig man. Tell me, what was he like? Oh, he was a wonderful fellow. Uh, <laughs> he was a absolutely delightful conversation. <laughs> uh, but he, he, he um, you know, he was just standing there shouting, selling his goods. Just a general nice guy. You know, Fantastic. Um, you know, a ton, ton going on around. Um, 
Brian Neude. Love Brian. Now we've heard uh, about he, this fellow. Now he's yeah, quite he a tricky customer from what I hear. He didn't talk much. Uh, there was a, a nice area where we could sit down and he just ran through at one point, which was oh. interesting, an interesting fellow. And then what was his speed yeah. like just for his file? You, oh, 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 quite fast. Quite, quite fast. Good. I, I quite efficient. That he, he, he was easy to weave for everyone. And uh, Ooh, quite mobile. Yes, I won't mention what he was running away from, but... Uh, no, no, he was quite fast. He was quite the guy. Quite, quite the guy. Quite the guy. Mm. And nice dress sense, I must say. He had a wonderful tuxedo. Tuxedo, <laughs> you said? Now, that is interesting. I didn't know who would dress like James Bond. That's fantastic. Oh, well, well that he always dresses for the occasion. You know, it was a very formal ah, experience. You know, an old friend of mine once said that, well, enemy, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I've, I've got a little surprise for you, my friend, Mr. Okay, Rory. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not actually a unit scientist. You've been <laughs> bloody bamboozled <laughs> by... Gen- Look, I'm in style, you fool. <laughs> We've met so what? many times. Ah, okay. the grand reveal. Wow. <laughs> I'll turn the echo <laughs> off from my microphone. There we go. Now I sound yeah. like a normal human. So, um, final question, sure. final, well, not really a question, but um, in serious times, people from Time Fracture, whether it be the cast, the crew, or the creators, could very well be watching this right now, watching you talk about Time Fracture. So is there anything you want to say to them? Well, one thing I'm very, very, I'm very jealous of all of your jobs. If you ever have any jobs going, <laughs> you know, happily, happily, uh, you and me both, mate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even even if it's just working in you know the bar section, I will happily take one. But uh, you know, it was a really, really fun experience. You were really all accommodating, and I will be returning soon, which I look forward to. And you know, I do look forward to it as I've been for a very rough year, and going to such an experience will be a lot of fun and i can't wait and yeah i look forward to watching your interview and yeah it's a really fun experience hold on oh that's excellent they're gonna love it rory right well hello so sorry uh thank you for joining me for this little um get chat a little catch up about your time with unit for operation time fracture thank you very much um do you mind uh, stating your name for the record please Gary the Word. Gary, is that uh, first, middle, and surname? Gary the and Word? Yep. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Just I got that right. Well, um, first of all, thank you, of course, for joining us for Operation Time Fracture. We couldn't have done it without you, of course. <laughs> yep. Um, so first of all, must ask, um, did the staff treat you well, our, our, our uh, unit employees? Did, did, were you treated well? Yes, definitely. Felt 100%. Oh, that's why oh, I dropped my pen on the time fracture floor. Uh, the, yes, uh, that's excellent to hear. Uh, 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 we are always hoping to improve here at UNIT, so it's good to know that we're, we're on the right track when it comes to customer service, shall we say. <laughs> yep. Well, um, my next question is, uh, through the fracture itself, obviously we had to stay here at Unit HQ, we we have uh, you know lives to get back to. You're all uh, yep. liability. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Uh, so, what did you see? Without getting into too much, uh, what's the word? Spoilers, perhaps. What kind of things did you see through the fracture? Lots and lots of mysterious things that were going on. Interesting. Interesting. Is there anything that was perhaps? in the marketing that you are okay with seeing? A lot was going on, and I have to say, just don't blink. <laughs> oh, d- oh, I, I see. I yeah. see what you're doing there. That's very good. I'll jot that down. That's actually, you see, if this footage were to get online, we'd hate for people to, to know too much. or, or yeah, yeah. It's a whole secrecy thing, you know, because you need to take... Classified information. Well, there you go. Exactly. You see, you know your yeah. stuff. If this got out, we'd be in a heck of a lot of trouble. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so was there any standout moments uh, when you went through the fracture? Perhaps a specific moment that felt tailored to you specifically? It was very interesting just to see all the, like, interactive parts, like, in, like, 
can just look around, do your own thing, but you can also follow with the story as long as you wish. Interesting. So you'd say you can sort of go about your business in a lot of ways. You have a lot of freedom there. Yeah, you have like, you can like just have your own adventure. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's good to know. It's good to know we've all we've all had our fun here. And now um, yeah. I, I've got a I've got a trick. I, I've been I've been fooling you this whole time. You see, uh, oh, that's not right. I am actually Jack Reeves. You have been bamboozled. I was not oh, a no. scientist at all. I I even turned an echo on. There we go. I'll turn the echo off now. Uh, I, I this is my final question to you, and it's not really a question. It's more just a thing. So as this is a Time Fracture special, and um, I was very lucky to go there, it's entirely possible that the cast, the crew, and the creators of Time Fracture are currently watching right now. So is there anything you'd perhaps want to say to them? I just want to say it's been a hell of a time. And I would recommend to everyone who hasn't been there to go there like because it was a blast and you'll have a lot of fun oh that's perfect thank you mate hello it's good to see you thank you again for uh doing operation time fracture it was very kind of you to to step in for us along with the rest of your group uh, it's very important here at at unit to make sure that it's all gone according to plan it, nothing's gone wrong you haven't grown any extra appendages since your visit i hope well, not to my knowledge, no. I've kept a perfectly good eye on myself, and frankly, everything seems to be perfectly fine. Oh, that's excellent. I'll just jot that down. Now, could you just state your name for the record, please? My name is Dom. Dom. So you can is call that me Dom. Q S T. Am I am I getting that right? Yeah, you're getting that exactly right. Yes. yes. Um, I do wonder how you got the job, son. Um, but yeah. Well, that's rude. Anyhow, so um, you, so you were a part, of course, of Operation Time Fracture here at Unit HQ. So uh, my first question uh, is sort of a HR-related question. Uh, did the staff treat you well? I, I know we're all a bit man manic here. We're all quite the characters. But uh, were you treated well in your time? Oh, yes, I was treated absolutely perfectly well. Everyone was very attentive. Everyone was just going around, escorting all the civilians and making sure nobody touched something that they didn't and caused the uh, unfortunate obliteration of the world. So everyone was on their A game, I like to think. Oh, that is fantastic to hear. Yes, I'm, I'm aware some of our staff can get a little bit crazy, so it's good to hear that we're, we're all still in safe but now, about the fracture itself, of course, us here at mm. UNIT, we were unfortunately not allowed to come uh, through with you. We had to stay here and keep everything nice and safe, except for me. I was stuck in the office, so I could keep to have some fun. I'm not bitter or anything, but um, I, I must know, when you went through the fracture, and do be careful how you speak about this, uh, I'd, I'd hate for uh, HR to come down on me about any information getting out that isn't already what's the word, in the trailers. So is there anything that you can say about your personal experience when you went through the fracture? Well, I'd like to say I met some people that I didn't think I'd ever be meeting in my life. Is it would be, fine? yes, it was certainly an interesting experience and I witnessed things that, again, I never thought I'd be able to witness. I mean, some of which you've seen out there put to the public in the trailers. Others have to keep about that meeting various uh well yeah and i must say it made for a thoroughly exhilarating experience and everyone involved those particular people that i met they well they carried themselves with such vigor and responded to everything coming at them with absolute professionalism i want to say and they did exemplary, exemplary, can't speak, exemplarily well. Very nice. It's nice to know your, your speech is also mostly fine. That's okay. Mostly. Now, would you say <laughs> you had any sort of unique moments with any of the unit scientists or any of the characters that you can speak about, of course, some of them uh, through the fracture? Um, trying not to go into depth. But there was a particular moment when I met a particular person whom I was aware of before, 
Mm. And suddenly I felt the fate of certain parts of the universe thrust upon me. And it was certainly an experience that and a lot of pressure that I didn't expect when I woke up that particular morning. And uh, I think I got through it okay, but it was very memorable to meet that certain person and have them entrust certain things to me. (laughs) Now, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to think if this character might have been in the in the promos because I, I we are allowed to say things we of course here at unit put out some promos just as a little warning for folks so if, if it is in the promos you may be able to say the name oh okay just to save um, your backside here <laughs> yeah uh can you edit this you're gonna edit this right oh yes davros can i say we're that? okay for davros yes yes fantastic so you if you want to repeat that story I, i'm okay to cut the first bit out cool So I ended up coming face to face with the legend that is the creator of the Daleks, Davros himself. Oh my goodness, that's excellent. I know. It was certainly not something I expected when I woke up that morning and suddenly having the fate of Earth and Scarrow and the Dalek race being entrusted upon me um, by himself. It was not exactly what I would have anticipated. And not something I I mean, but deep down, maybe you did want it, but you didn't really want it. You don't really think about it in the presence of, do you really want this in text? But when it happens, it is a bit tricky to know where he stands, isn't it? Sometimes. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. He could end up killing you at one point or getting his uh, cronies to kill you. Or he could be uh, quite jovial. And this time he was fairly jovial. Oh, well, that's good to know. I mean, I, I, we're still here on the fence about uh, uh, here at UNIT with Davros because his children, shall we say, have not had the best of time here. So uh, I, if, trust me, if I, if I met Davros, I would have a few ruddy things to say to him, I tell you that. Yeah, I can understand that. Yes. Now, I've got one final question for you, Mr. Mr. Dom, and um, I'm afraid to say you've been bamboozled. I'm not a unit HQ. I'm Jack, you absolute buffoon. No. You have been fooled beyond belief. You no. must feel so foolish. Now. I do. This is, oh, this has ruined my day entirely. Oh. <laughs> I'll turn the echo off my microphone. So my final question to you. Hmm. is as this is a Time Fracture special that I've been working with the lovely people at Time Fracture, both with the cast and some of the crew and behind the scenes peoples, it's entirely possible that some of those people are watching as we speak. So, well, quite. So is there anything you'd like to say directly to them? Well, I would love to say you've done a fantastic job on putting together the entire event. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I've been one, two, two times. I would go third. And... Each time has just felt like a completely different experience. Every time it's just a new adventure. And the acting, the improvisation, like being an actor myself, I can massively respect how difficult improv is on the fly when everything is coming at you, various different people, all these different elements that could go crazily wrong. And yet everyone seems to just take it in their stride, no matter what. And it is an exceptionally gifted talent to have, as well as everything in terms of the set design and all the people that have worked on there, whether it be due to the props, to the lighting, to everything like that, it is just an exemplary job. And everyone has put their A game into this experience. I just loved it to pieces. Both times I went, they've been absolutely phenomenal. So well done to everybody. And of course the story itself, brilliant writing. It's just everything about it is just, it's, it's amazing. It's like the Doc 2 experience, but, this is more of an experience as opposed to like being more of the museum side, but yeah, it's a proper adventure. You are like the protagonist of your own adventure and it's really cool. Oh, fantastic. And as you heard there, Dom hated all of you. Uh, (laughs) We'll never go again. Uh, There was all negatives there. (laughs) Such a prat. Yeah, I I get that a lot. Well, (laughs) thank you for joining me for this mini interview, Dom. It was very kind of you. No worries. Thank you for having me. Hello, my friend. It's a pleasure to have you here at uh, this little Zoom. Uh, we understand that you went through uh, the Operation Time Fracture. Thank you very much for doing that. So we're just doing this little brief just to explain uh, from you to me what happened. 
Ah, because unfortunately we were stuck here in unit. So first of all, do you, oh, hello. Do you mind uh, stating your name for the record, please? Rory Stock. Rory Stock. And is that with three Ks? Uh, no, just the one. Just, just, just the, one. the one. Fantastic. Rory Stock. Now, first of all, I, I have to ask, uh, you know, it's a HR thing. Sometimes our unit scientists do get a bit crazy. <laughs> so I must ask, were you treated well during Operation Time Fracture? How, how were you treated? Yeah, very well. Um, I, I feel sorry for one person who I was working with because their little, uh, they had to wrap up this giant list of names and uh, the, the scientist was not kind to him. But otherwise, all, all the scientists, all the unit personnel were very, kind and considerate before we went into the giant fracture. Fantastic. That is excellent to hear. You know, us unit scientists are always running about. It's always good to make sure we're doing a good job. And that scientist, no chance you got his name with the list of names? Oh, I can't I can't remember. It was quite a while ago. That's all right. Uh, it's a shame because we would have reprimanded him, maybe wiped his memory, sent him to Hull or something. That's fine. That's fine. He's gotten away with it this time, the lucky man. Now, Without, uh, shall we say, what's the word, spoiling, perhaps, uh, maybe focusing on things we put out in our press releases, uh, what sort of unique experiences did you did you encounter through the fracture? Oh, good question. Um, as soon as I entered the fracture, it, it was I entered this kind of surreal version of the past where I met loads of different historical figures like Elizabeth. Um, Queen Elizabeth, of course. Which and one? I, Which queen? Oh, I think it. I think it was Queen Elizabeth the first. The yeah. first. Oh my goodness! It was a coronation, I do believe. But I spent most of my time actually talking to William Shakespeare. Yes, William the, the William Shakespeare. Oh my yeah. goodness! How exciting! How was he? Um, a bit depressed, sadly. No, he, oh, why? Ah, oh, he didn't have any faith in his work, poor man. But. You know, we, we helped him. We we helped him get his confidence back and he should be still writing to this day. Oh, that is fantastic to hear, my friend. You know, this is why you were chosen. We, we weren't sure at first why you lot were chosen, but clearly you helping William Shakespeare through his, through his sadness. Excellent. That's fantastic. You'll be getting some sort of reward, perhaps a, a knighting. By the, by the current queen, <laughs> not, not the past one. No, that's fantastic to hear. And... Was there anything else? Was anything in particular? Um, there was there was something later on. Like we got the context was we all got taken to this other world and saw this weird marketplace that had loads of different aliens, some weird robot postman looking thing, and a, a pig selling his wares. A pig. A pig. Yeah, it, it's a big galaxy out there, apparently. Well, quite. That's very interesting. I'll jot that down. Pig. Interesting. Well, that's that's good. Were they all friendly, however? You, you weren't attacked, of course. You were all treated very well, I assume. I wouldn't say that. Things were sort of going well. The, the pig was uh, uh, strange, but quite a, quite a friendly man. And been sold off some nice little bits and souvenirs to some of the patrons who were there. But we did have an encounter with some metal men. Metal uh, men. Oh, metal I, men. Yes, we've heard about these, these perhaps cyber men. I believe they're in the trailer. I think we can save them. Oh, my goodness. You encountered them, did you? And, and you survived. That is quite impressive, my yeah, friend. I, I almost died. Uh, well, can I, can I sue for that? Can you what? <laughs> for that you know almost lost my life maybe a little bit of compensation um i'll i'll speak to to hr rory wipe mind he knows too much about the legal system <laughs> there we go <laughs> well yes we'll get you that compensation anyway now i have one final thing uh, one final question and this is going to come as quite a shock but i'm not actually a unit scientist you absolute buffoon. This is Jack Reeves of the Community oh, Show. Oh, no. You've been absolutely <laughs> tricked. And <laughs> the reason 
I break my character is because as this is a Time Fracture special, I've been working closely with the lovely folks at Time Fracture. It's entirely possible that some of the cast or the behind the scenes people or even the creators are watching as we speak. So is anything, is there anything you want to say to these people about your time and how much you perhaps enjoyed it? Yes, uh, I just wanted to say that Time Fracture is the best experience I have had in my life, probably since, well, the Doctor Who experience. Um, and I fully intend on going as many more times as I can until the run ends, basically. It's a brilliant time. Um, I went with a good friend of mine and she also said that it was quite amazing, especially one segment, which I'm, I'm not sure how many people know about, so I won't say it here, but it was quite horrifying. Let's, let's put it that way. Yeah, but but it was, uh, I just can't explain how much it made me feel a part of the Doctor Who world and I really appreciated being able to experience it all. And the ending, it can bring grown men to tears, my man. Mm. <laughs> well, no, absolutely, and I totally agree. Thank you, Mr. Rory, for coming on today. It was very kind of you to, to use your time to come on for this mini interview. No problem, it's been great. Glad to be here. Right. Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me for this little Zoom call post Operation Time Fracture. And thank you again for, well, you know, saving the world. It was very kind of you. Twice already as well. <laughs> Did it twice? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. I'll make sure you get knighted for that one. Fantastic. I think it's the least we could do. Twice saving the universe? Come on now. Now, do you mind. Uh, work. Uh, quiet. Do you mind stating your name for the record, please? Yeah, sure. It's James Wald. James Wald. Fantastic. And is that with five L's on the end there? You can make it five L's if you want. We're unit. We can do whatever we want. Fantastic. Exactly. Now, first question. It's more of a HR question. You understand. You know, it's a whole yeah. thing. Um, did the staff here treat you well? Were you, were you treated well during your time here at Unit HQ? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, despite, you know, all the hassle that was going on, they did manage to keep, you know, everyone feel safe and calm. And they did they did their best to explain everything. But, you know, it was a tight situation. <laughs> well, quite. Well, I'm glad to hear that you were still treated well amongst the chaos. We are a bit rambunctious, us lot at the best of times. <laughs> now, I mean, this is obviously why you've been called here, about going through the time fracture. You were very brave. Uh, we uh, didn't. Uh, we, we needed to stay here, of course. Uh, I was hiding in the back. I mean, I was doing important work in the back room, very important. Now, without going into, shall we say, spoilers about things that aren't in any of our promotional material we provided, what were some of your standout moments from inside the fracture itself? Perhaps something that was quite unique to your time. Is that the first time or second time it happened? Whichever one you want, my friend. Whichever one. It'll all be helpful. Oh, boy. Uh, God, without spoiling anything. Uh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It, it is. It is, because there's just so much to talk about. But um, I suppose two things I will say. First up was this interaction with a, uh, let's just say a certain pig man. I've heard about this pig man, bit of a swindler from what I hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's funny, really. He, he offered me 50% and I never got it. Well, that is just ridiculous. We will have to send someone through to him to get you that 50%. Call it compensation. Yeah, I mean, in, I mean, understandably, he had a bit of an accident, but yeah. still... You know. An accident? Oh my goodness! Well, I'll, I'll put his um, his life signs at TBD for now. Uh, that's well, that's excellent. Is there anyone else you met through the fracture? Um, I met a certain Italian painter. An Italian that, painter? Is it one of the well, big ones? Yeah, yeah. Let's just say his name begins with Leo. Oh, the Ninja Turtle. Oh, I love that yeah. guy. Yes, fantastic. I've heard stories. Was he so had something on his eye, perhaps? What, what was that? I never got confirmation on that. Yes, he, he did have an eye patch, but 
it, he, he, I, I can't remember what it was for. It, it was so weird. It's ah, oh, that, that, that whole moment was just a blur, five seconds, but it felt longer. Oh my goodness! Well, yeah. that, that is still quite exciting. Did you see any of his art pieces? Was, was there any of that about? Yes, there was Ooh. the, you know, the one with the lady. Oh, the one with I the Oh, I like that one. Yes, we've got about yeah. several in storage, thanks to yeah. our good friend the doctor. But but this one was different because it started off as a one lady, but then it turned into another lady, and it, it just happened just like that. Oh, just wow. shocking! No, that is very shocking. I will jot that down. That's perfect for the file. Now, I've got one final little uh, little question for you, and you're gonna you're gonna kick yourself. I'm not actually a unit scientist, you absolute buffoon. It is Jack Reeves. It is I of the community oh. show. Ha ha. You have it, been bamboozled. Yeah, you got me. That's, that's the I'll joke. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> now, the reason I... Well, I should turn the echo off now. Now, the reason I uh, reveal myself is that as this is a Time Fracture special, it has got the Time Fracture folks involved. It's entirely possible that some of the cast or, or crew or the creators are watching as we speak. So is there anything you want to say to them? Uh, ooh, I, I suppose just thank you, really, for bringing this world to life. It, it is definitely the closest we're ever going to get to being in the actual episode without, you know, signing in contracts or something to be part of the production crew. But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely got me more interested in immersed theatre and j just just the possibilities that could happen with the I'm trying to sound more clever than I actually am but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah that, that's all I've got to say thank you and I hope it, it just gets better and more accessible to even more people I mean who knows it could go into a world tour maybe that's too much of a too much of an ask but you, you know you never know oh no quite well Thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Wall. It was very kind of you to, to lend your time. It's good to finally meet you. And you, my friend. Hello. Right. It, thank you for letting me come over. Oh, dear. Sorry, I just one moment. There we go. Thank you for letting me come over. It's, it's very kind of you to let me into your humble abode. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Well, as you will know, you recently ventured into the Time Fracture for us for Operation Time Fracture. Thank you again for putting your life on the line. Uh, we couldn't possibly do it, of course. That would have been a PR nightmare. But first of all, I need you to state your name for the record, please. I don't know why you're laughing. It's a very serious matter. I don't know whether I was good or happy. That's a fair point. We should, we should discuss this. <laughs> what would work better? Well, it's, I mean, Osgood's, Osgood's um, desk is there, isn't it? Osgood's desk is there, and they did keep asking me why I was there and not at the tower. That, so. Yeah, that's fair. It, can, it kind of ruins our storyline, Osgood, if you're here. <laughs> we'll do it as Abby, just, okay. to, just to make it even more confusing. Hi, I'm Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll jot that down. Thank you very much. Oh, you see, I have to do it with holding this now. <laughs> so, as uh, you are aware, you went through the fracture. It was very exciting. But before we get to that, I must know, how were you treated at, at Unit HQ? How were the staff treating you there? Oh, very, very nicely. Oh, very that's nicely. fantastic. It was, a bit, it was a bit frantic, but other than that, yes. Yes, yes, we've heard that. Unfortunately, uh, the day you arrived, it was quite quite busy, as, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. a, bit, a lot of hectic things, but as long as you were treated well. That's that's the main thing. Excellent. I don't have to do any mind wiping. That's excellent. Now, we're going to get into the actual fracture antics now. As you know, we weren't allowed through. We, we're not doing that. That would be ridiculous. But you did. So, what sort of things did you encounter through the fracture? Keep in mind what was released in the promo images <laughs> as you... <laughs> Because I do have to show this to the lovely folks at Unit HQ, and I don't want to get in trouble. Obviously. Yes. yes. Oh, right. Um, what do we see? I've got all posh now. Oh, yes, well. <laughs> you can't help but parrot who you're talking to. Yes. <laughs> like, I do this with Chelsea and Abby. I do that. Uh, and Alia. Alia. Just turn Irish I or can't Scottish. help it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Well, yes. Um, so, let's <laughs> turn off Charlotte Pollard. Um, I think it was in the promos now. Yes, it's tricky. Uh, was there any sort of unique uh, antics related to you specifically? Any certain creatures coming up to you at all? Brian the Oot. Now we've heard about this Brian the Oot. He's quite the character. Yes. Well, what was he up to? We then? love a bit of Brian. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, he was on a mission. Was he? What kind of mission? Mm, to find somebody. Interesting. I'll jot that down. Very good. Keeping spoilers free. I like mm. that. Very nice. Very nice. Because <laughs> if this footage gets out, that's me sacked, quite frankly. And uh, when you get sacked at unit, you, you end up in a ditch somewhere in Hull, which is not ideal. <laughs> not in Hull. No, no not in Hull. Swansea, maybe. But not Hull. No. Anyway. I've got a boss again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, right. Ooh, I'm dropping things. Dropping now. things. You know, yes, don't that. Yeah, no, no. So, okay, you met Brian. That's good. Is yes. there any other characters you, you bumped into? <sighs> Leonardo. Leonardo. Oh, uh, the Ninja Turtle. Oh, yes. The Ninja Turtle. Fantastic. Yep. The Ninja Turtle's there. Good. good excellent. With his bandana. <laughs> <laughs> See, deep down I knew this would be really funny, <laughs> but I still wasn't quite prepared. <laughs> right. So, uh, what was Leonardo up to then? Uh, he was painting a picture, mm -hmm. um, but he was he was asked by somebody to paint a picture. But, Is that yeah. right? Was it a, a, a picture of great importance? Yes. Great importance, excellent. I'll jot that down my this ex. is hard to do. It's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> yes. See, that's the funny thing. Even when talking to uh, the unit staff, shall we say, even they struggled to, uh, deep down to um, to keep it all in. Yes. And I had to bleep out so ruddy much. <laughs> and even they were at the moment, they say things and then they go, oh no, bleep that. Yeah, like, oh, that. Thanks. Yes, very good. You can keep the Ninja Turtle in, though. Yes, that's excellent. That can go out. People know about yeah, the Ninja know, Turtles. The Ninja it's a no one's met Raphael yet, and that was my special favourite. So oh. I'm livid. Now, I've got a secret. I've got a secret. You must not tell anyone this, but you've been bamboozled. I'm actually Jack. Oh. You absolute buffoon. Well, I'm actually Osgood. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to get your mind wiped. <laughs> well, before I do... Um, <laughs> Obviously, this, with this being a Time Fracture special, me working alongside the Time Fracture team, mm. I mainly say that to brag. Obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, they, it is entirely possible that some of the cast, some of the crew, or the creators are watching as we speak. So is there anything you'd want to say to them? I will say this. I'm a single mum. Mm. I'm going to bring up the child side here. And he is high, autis or high autism. He has high autism. And they treated him so well like they interacted really well with him they understood like like he had his lanyard on they understood his needs and they were so they were so well they did so well with him it was that's why we're going back well, so yeah. <laughs> it, that is sort of the highest bar like oh yeah we'll come back yeah yeah no that's really good because <laughs> yeah I've, i mean i've met little man yeah. he's absolutely hilarious i look i'm really excited because i'm going with abby i should mention i'm so excited to see him in the environment because i know it. he's going to go in that tux and i'm so oh, excited yeah. to see how far he's he going goes with it I've got. I've got. To t I'll teach him the impression, and just so he can, like, <laughs> he can go up to. See, last time, we, last time we went, it's at eleven. So mm. we're making our way through the doctors. I could. I could just imagine him running past Daly's going Geronimo, just yeah. with his sign. <laughs> he does it when he comes home from school. Oh. That's the first thing he says when he gets through the front door. Is Geronimo. So I hope that stays forever. He's gonna be doing that when he's like twenty-five. Yeah. Geronimo. <laughs> Oh, like, Good day at work, darling. Yeah, <laughs> on <Geronimo>. him <laughs> <laughs> But no, they, yeah, they, yes, they, they were very good with him. Excellent. Um, and a lot of a lot of theatre experiences he struggles with, but because they were like talking down to his level, even Brian the Ood. <laughs> when we first walked, we've, so we've been a couple, we've been a couple of times, like I said, but and the, when we first walked in, obviously Brian walks over and he's an Ood. He my child, sure is. My child is seven. <laughs> and his first initial thing was hide behind mother. Well, but Brian was like, "Hello," and then he like coached him in, and he was he was really good with him considering he's a an ood an assassin. Ood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean the way you describe it. As soon as you know he's an assassin, it's like, oh, you coaxed your child in. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> but no, I know both. I know both of the actors who play Brian, or at least the ones I know about, and they are both hilarious. Mm. So, no doubt they were excellent. 
Yes, thank you, and that is the end of the mini-interview. Yeah. <laughs>